So this is the Dwell app. It's a nice app that focuses entirely on audio books or audio Bibles. So this is the Dwell app. It focuses entirely on audio Bibles, listening to the Bible as an audio Bible. And uh, you notice I can tap on the different possible reading or listening plans. And a listening plan means that you can start listening to it. This is a Bible in a year plan. At the bottom, there is a plans tab. And it shows all the different listening plans that they have that are scheduled by days. Some of them are short, you see, as eight days, and then others are much longer. And then we have the passages tab. If you want to listen to a passage, if you don't want to listen to a plan, but a specific passage of the Bible, you can do so. Um, and then we have the playlists button. They've created some playlists for you. And then we have the library, which is where you would navigate to a specific book of the Bible and chapter of the Bible and listen. For example, if you want to listen to Ecclesiastes, you open it up and it shows each chapter that you can start listening. So let's go back to home. I've already got one of the audio files open. And we're going to uh, start it from the beginning. Notice you hit play. I must go on boasting, though there was nothing to be gained by it. And then if you want to skip ahead to the next verse, you can while you're playing. And I know. And, and then back. It cannot be told. And, and I know. All right. And while you're listening to a verse, you can change things like the voice. Uh, Gregory is one of the voices. Then Rosie has sort of a northern a uh, British accent. Felix, he is, um, I think, an East African. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught. And then we have Mark. I know a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. I personally prefer either Felix or Gregory. Gregory's more of a dramatic reading. I knew a man in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the... Now you'll notice there's music in the background and in the bottom right corner there's the music button. You can choose no music or random music, which is what I have it on now. Or you can select uh, ambient music. Heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. That's sort of soft. Let's and I know the piano. that this man was caught up into paradise. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. Oh. All right. Now, if you want to, you can tell the app where to send the audio. For example, right now I've got it on the, spe on the iPhone, and then I could put it on speaker and play it through other devices. Maybe you have a pair of AirPods hooked up or... Um, something else. So that's one way to do it. So that is the Dwell app. So this is the Bible app. It's the most downloaded app of any Bible app on iOS or Android. And it's put out by life.church. Uh, some people also call it the U version. That's their branding. This is primarily a Bible reader app. Uh, you, you notice the tabs at the bottom and, uh, the home screen is kind of like a social networking uh, feature for Bible users. But you go here to the read, and again, we're in Ezekiel chapter 23. Uh, and if you would like to listen to it, up here on the toolbar at the top, uh, next to this uh, font icon, you'll notice a, a little sound icon. Tap on that, and then it brings up the audio feature. So tap on the play button. Chapter 23. The word of the Lord came to me again, son of man. There were two women, daughters of the same mother, who acted like prostitutes in Egypt, behaving promiscuously in their youth. Now, you can also change the speed. So if you want to play it at normal speed. Their breasts were fondled there, and their virgin nipples caressed. <laughs> and then there's the timer feature. So you can set a, an off timer. All right. Yes, I was teaching that passage <laughs> in my church. Now, of course, the reader, you can change the look of it uh, and then select a, the verse and, you know, share it with different things or add highlighting to that verse. 
uh, but we're more focused here on the audio features. So that's how you use the audio feature. This is the Bible.is app. It comes from a company called Faith Comes by Hearing, and its purpose is to give you not only a Bible reader, as you can see, I am scrolling through Genesis chapter 1. Uh, this is the ESV version of the Bible, but you can also choose to listen. So you tap anywhere on the screen in the white space, and it brings up the play controls. So let's go ahead and play it. Genesis, Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so notice that sort of has a dramatized feel to it. Uh, navigate to your passage. So uh, again, we were listening to Ezekiel 23 and the other past others. Then you select which Bible you want to listen to. We can change this now to uh, the King James non-drama. Chapter 23. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, there were two women. So you'll notice how kind of uh, a little bit more bland that is. That's not dramatized like it was. So when you open up the Bibles here, you notice that if it has the icon with the no symbol over it, that means that it doesn't have, doesn't have audio in that passage. So now we are in the olive tree Bible app. It also has an audio feature. They've recently added not only audio Bibles, but audio books. And the way you find is you go into your library by tapping the library button at the top. And you notice at the top here it says books and audio. So if you scroll through your library, you want to find one that has the uh, audio features. Now, it might be hard to find, but here we got the uh, NKJV or the KJV audio Bible, complete Bible. And if you tap on the blue arrow, that brings up the feature to show the audio books. And each of these files will let you play that. You tap on it to download it. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now you'll notice it displays the verse that it's reading to you. You can tap the arrows to skip forward or back. You can also control like some of the others. The In the beginning, center. God created the heavens and the... You can bring up a driving interface so that it's a lot easier to see. I really like that. Control the volume. And you can connect to other devices using uh, the regular AirPlay features. All right, so our last audio Bible app that we're going to look at is actually the Logos Bible app. And uh, this is the way Logos looks on its home screen. But what we want to do in order to access audio Bibles or audio books is you tap the menu button on the bottom right corner and see where it says audio just below search. And this brings up all of the books in your library that have an audio feature to it. For example, I have the English Standard Version audio, so let's open that up. And it's not giving me the best interface. In fact, when you open it, here's what you get, and that is just a list of chapters. These are each audio files that you can listen to. However, you can select from the table of contents. And uh, since we've been doing it all the other apps, we'll go to Ezekiel and look for chapter 23. And so that shows it right there. Tap on the file. Chapter 23. The word of the Lord came to me. And it brings up the controls. And she lusted after bring lust upon her. There's a skip forward. So Babel did after the Asi delivered her skip into the back. governors and command. Skip forward by chapter or skip back by chapter. Chapter 23. And then, of course, if you need to know more about the book, you can hit the info button there. So that's the... Uh, Logos Bible app. Now, by the way, if you want, you can also... Chapter 26. Find these books by going to your library. And just tap on audio. So that brings up the Lexham English Bible audio. And so if you wanted, you could... Chapter 5. Listen that way.